Hello! Hello, everybody! Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm slouching. Let me unslouch myself. There you go. Straighten I straight myself up in my chair. Hello, hello, Beaver. Hello, Hitman. Hello, Hillbilly. Hello, uh, Otter. Hello, Shuggle. Wow, my brain died. Otter, Otter. Long time no see. Dad, thank you for the Prime sub and thank you for the whole year of support. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I know. I had. Wow. Sorry, I leaned forward that time. Um, I had, I had, the, I had a month off, and now I am back. I am EP, but I am back. It's been a very stressful couple of weeks. Oh man, look at all these streakers in chat. Thank you guys for coming back to chat. It really means a lot. It means a lot to come for you guys to come back to chat. It really does make me happy. I'm happy having regulars. It's very nice. We have a repertoire. Is that how you say it? A repertoire? That doesn't seem right either. A repoire. Repoire? Because of noon stream. Rip. Just show up for two minutes and then. <laughs> People get so ragey at the day streams. <laughs> Report like Cobert or Rapport. Repoire. I'm saying Rapport from now on. You guys can't stop me. You cannot stop the rapport. Hello, Seth. Hello, Ammonia. Hola. Hello, Buddha. Hello, hello. You guys gotta get used to, to me streaming again. I know it's been a bit. We have a lot of current events to talk about. All words are made up. Yes, it's true. Brett turned out okay. Only okay? What happened with it? Only okay? Did it stick? Did you not use parchment paper? You gotta use parchment paper. Just okay. Hurts mouth eating it? Was it too crusty? Was it too much crust? See, I always do like, um, I'll bake mine because it's like 45 minutes with a Dutch oven. I'll bake mine for like 20 minutes and then I'll start pulling it out every like five or so minutes and then like covering it in um, a little bit of salt water. Crust is thick as tectonic plate. Yeah. But I think, I think with the Dutch oven you get less of a crust. I'm not sure. Honestly, I thought the salt water made more of a crust, but the more I, the more I, I think it makes less of a crust. Now that I'm experiencing other people making bread. Oh, you did Dutch oven. Shit, I'm sorry. I'm ra I thought the salt water made more of a crust. I'm starting to think it makes less of a crust. Well, next time you make it, try the salt water thing. If you have like a little spray bottle, that's like the easiest. Like a, so you just like pull it out, um, spritz the top, and then put it back in. Every like, I don't know, like five to ten minutes, depending. Depending on how you're feeling that day. Well, I mean, it's like five active minutes, but you gotta let it sit for a couple hours. There's five minutes of work. It doesn't count as time if you can go do something else. That's how that works. <laughs> it's not real time if you if you can do something else, like play video games. It's like 3D printing. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't take real time. It takes fake time. Yeah, so like it took five minutes to find a whisk. Well, that's not my problem. That's that's your kitchen's problem. That's a you problem. We're gonna do like current events today because I've missed so much. Actually, like just the last week, so much has happened. So if I forget something, please remember to remind me because I would like to chat about everything I missed. And I feel like I'm definitely gonna forget stuff because a lot of stuff has happened. I know in the past like week, did you meet a bear? I met several stuffied bears. I meant to take more pictures of the bears, but I did not. I did not get to. Things are happening. 4,000 total to the all age myself. Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh card thing. You never said what the different one was. Oh yeah, it was the owl. I said it on Facebook, I think. Or maybe it was Twitter. I said it on one of them. 
But yeah, it was the owl was alive, and then the other ones were not alive. The other ones were unalive. <laughs> they were dead. They're dead animals used for decorations. Trophies of the dead. Yeah, so okay, so let's go over. So the past week, past couple days, Concord launched and died, right? There's that one. Um, Nikocado Avocado is no longer fat. That's another one. There's something else that happened. What else happened? And Hentai got shut down. <laughs> um, what else happened? There's something else I wanted to talk about. Damn, what was it? I just thought of it. Hentai's still up. Don't ask me how I know. How do you know? How do you know, Beaver? Was it VTuber related? It wasn't, but Callie, Callie Calliope Mori, my Oshi, came out with a new outfit, which is very, very, um, it makes my pussy hard. So there's that. Um, Space Marine 2, yeah, well, a lot of other people are excited about Space Marine 2. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's a good outfit! It's a good outfit! Did you see it? Did you guys see it? Hold on, hold on. You gotta look at my Oshi, dude. It's a good outfit. <laughs> it's a good outfit! Okay, hold on. Hold on! No, you'll, you'll understand. Beaver, you fucking... Fuck dogs, okay? Like, your opinion does not matter. Alright, hold on. Let me find it. And she released an anime... She released an anime music video. Where is it? Hold on. People don't all have all the unsubbed, unfollowed. You're only mad because you know I'm right. The fuck is it? I need screenshots of it. I need full screenshots of it. New outfit. Let's try that one. Oh my god, there's already so much fan art. Here. Okay, this is the best I got right now, guys. There's not a whole lot of screen caps out. Man, she's just dropping outfits left and right. It's so unfair. It's got, like, three different hairs. Very jealous. Here, I'll, I'll copy this one, too. Hold on. Hold on, lads. Don't worry, guys. I'll hook you up. Don't worry. I need to show off my Oshi. My dad. Guys, my dad's coming on stream. Give me a second. <laughs> Alright, so I don't have a full screenshot of it. I'm sorry. I wish I did. But look at how cute she is. Look at that. It's so cute. We didn't know how good we have in the month of quiet. You ass. Hello, Caboose! Look, and then there's this one. Okay, hold on. There's this one, and then there's... There's... There's, there's, there's another hairstyle. And then there's this one. There's another hairstyle, but I don't have a screenshot. But these, she can have a cat on her head, which is very cute. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I, I approve. I approve. I'll gush about it some more when there's more when there's more screenshots out there. Her cat, yeah. I'm a big fan. It's very cute. She's got she's got so many outfits. I want to be that cool that I can have a, a bajillion outfits. I want to be that cool, guys. I want to have a bajillion outfits. It was in her homework folder. No, well here. Here, okay, you want homework folder. Give me a moment. <laughs> I have this one saved. Hold on. This is fan art of her new outfit. <laughs> yeah, oh! Oh no. It's cheeky. Oh no. Yeah, see? See? 
Being that fool means you sell your soul to be a big corpo. I'd take it. I'd sell my soul to a big corpo to have 15 different outfits. There, look. Hello, guys. I'm Calliope Mori. Gah. Hold on. Oh, wait. I just found the screen cap. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just found it. I just found the full body screen cap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, guys. I got it. I got it now. I got it. We're in, we're in business. Hello, small. I saw you in there. Okay, not the best picture, but look how cool it is. She's so cute. <clears throat> it's so cute. I love, I love the shorts. And she's got a guitar. Oh man, we don't talk about ni This is a Niji Sanji free home. <laughs> They're just an absolute nightmare company, man. Nightmare company. No, I I mean I like I'll real talk with you guys, real talk. Um up until recently, I really like the dream was to join Hololive, Alive, I'm not going to lie to you. Um that was like the dream. Uh but then I kind of realized recently um, mostly because of all the extra stuff they're doing right now. Like, I don't, like, they do stuff I want to do. Like, I would love to do a concert and stuff and all that jazz and, and all the, all the, the stuff that comes with it. But, like, I can't do it as, like, rapid fire as they do it. Like, I'm just, like, I'm tired watching them do it. You know what I mean? So, like, I can't imagine myself doing that and like I kind of just realized recently like it kind of just sunk into the brain like I don't I don't want to do that I don't like I don't want to I don't have the energy <laughs> I can't fly right because they like one of them flew from their home country to Japan to the US back to their home country within like the span of a month and did like concerts and stuff. And I just can't, I can't do that. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. It's too much. <laughs> I, I would love to do a 3D concert and all that, but like, oh, too, too much for me. Plus all the streaming and everything on top of it. Like I would love to have the help and the camaraderie and you know, the experience behind me and everything. Like I would love, I, that's, I think that's what I would look like look for look like look for in like a company but I can't keep up with that professional agencies tend to burn talent out Rin Penrose is going back to being independent again in her kind of idol is a whole I can't talk much but like idol is a whole nother ball game that's a whole nother area AJ hello welcome to the welcome to the stream Why do you have to fly if you're a VTuber? I thought the whole point was remote work. Um, for, I don't know entirely. From what I understand, like, when they do concerts and stuff, like, they're there at the concert. Just from, like, watching streams and listening to them talk. Like, no one's out, like, outright, outright said that. But from, like, listening to them talk and stuff, like, they're actually at the concert. Like, performing the concert when they do, like, these big ones. Like, the one in New York recently. You get a lot of background support through a corporal. You're seeing it through the lens of you doing all the work. No, no, no. Like, I don't want to travel that much. And I don't want to have those long days and stuff. And then having... Like, they do a lot of their own work still. Lose, lose. You have to go to a concert and you can't see it. You're, you're performing the concert. <laughs> what? You perform the concert. You can't... You can't see a concert you're performing anyway <laughs> don't they do meet and greets at conventions and stuff yeah so like i don't know if all of those i don't know if they fly to those necessarily or if you can do those remote work um i don't know because i know some of the smaller like indie vtubers when they do meet and greets some of them fly depending and then some of them don't they'll they'll remote in so i think it just kind of depends on the setup and how big you are and 
how much people are willing to spend money on stuff and all that. So, I think I think it's hard to remote in to like a convention center, especially for a meet and greet because it's not the strongest internet. And you can't just run like a a ninety mile Ethernet cable to the middle of the convention where your booth is. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Me and Chris are a lot of iPads on sticks. Yeah. Or if we talk about the black company, it's just a laptop uh, with a cable that goes to a TV and they don't even hide the laptop. <laughs> they don't even try to hide it. They just do not care. You meet and greet VTuber Josh. Oh, Buddha, are you under a rock? It's been going on for years now, sir. The Texas one did not prepare its Wi-Fi well, though. I have never in any convention center had good Wi-Fi ever. I can't imagine trying to have solid Wi-Fi in such a huge space. I've seen one rolling around a convention before at Lamont. I know, like, I think Iron Mouse, like, V Shoujo does that, where they have, like, I don't know if they're on segways or what, but something like that. Where they'll, like, roll around. <laughs> I want an iPad controlled segway. But yeah, I can't imagine trying to keep a Wi Fi signal in a convention center. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. And then trying to, like, have people stream off of it. Brisbane Convention Center is a nightmare. I can't even get a decent cell phone signal due to it being a black spot. Well, and from what I understand, is the more cell phones you have packed in an area, the worse the signal is. That is what I've heard. Um, because they're all interfering with each other. I don't know what, what I don't know what because like when I was at um when I went to the Ren Fair, I found out there were 15,000 people at the Ren Fair, and like my cell phone signal just completely tanked. But the second we left the parking lot of the Ren Fair, it was back. Quick, we need fan art of V at a convention in a Walmart scooter cart at an anime con. Yes! High amounts of iron stone in the ground also make it bad for cell phones. Oh, I didn't know that. You gotta think a lot of these, a lot of these convention centers were built before cell phones were really a thing. But, yeah. So, that was, that was, <laughs> that was something to talk about was Clippy Mori. <laughs> My Oshi. Oh, that was the other thing when I was like, I really wanted to join Holo Live was like, I'm like, I just, I want to meet my Oshi, right? And then I was like, man, it would be really embarrassing because I think I would just fangirl for like the first three days and that would be super duper embarrassing and like, I don't know if that's like a good reason to join a company. <laughs> you know what I mean? Repeaters and mesh networks can handle tons of peeps these days. Also, you have the big truck small garage problem. Yeah? You have a big truck and a little garage? I learned to never meet your hero. Yeah. That's a vibe. That really is a vibe. <laughs> I don't know. I wish people could just be chill. You know what I mean? Like, I love... It's really bad in the VTuber space. Although I'm sure it's bad everywhere. It's not just like a, a, a strictly VTuber thing. But like, when people come to me and ask me for like advice or if they have questions, like I love, I absolutely love answering those questions. I love answering streaming questions. I love, like, helping people out. But, like, there's so many people that, like, they get annoyed by that. Or or they'll be like, this person's annoying. Like, I'm going to help because I don't want to look like a bad person. But I'm actually really annoyed by this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just shitty behavior. And it makes me sad. Because, like, I don't know. I just, I genuinely love helping people with that kind of stuff. It makes me happy. You know? Like, it's a little selfish on my part because, like, I enjoy it. <laughs> you know? So many people get, like, annoyed and upset about it. 
I don't know why. I don't know if like you hit a certain number that I just haven't hit yet, like 10,000 followers and then like 10K on Twitter and now now you don't care about anyone else. Would you become a manager since you like helping? Um, I like helping. I hate contacting people for other people. So I would be a terrible manager. I hate reaching out to people. I hate making phone calls. I hate emailing. <laughs> I need a manager because I hate doing that stuff. I think I'd be an absolute horrendous manager. I could do it. I could be like a mentor. I'd be happy to be a mentor, but not a manager. When you find out the funny man is cringe and not base, you learn familiarity breeds contempt. You just hire an assistant. Boom. I don't have money for that. They cost money. That's the other thing. Like, I want to pay people for the work they do. <laughs> a lot of people have told me, they're like, you're too nice to be, like, do this well. You're too nice to be, like, a good streamer. <laughs> it makes me sad, but I get it. They're like, you're not willing to throw people under the bus. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. They're like, you're not willing to like cut corners and throw people under the bus and like do what you got to do to get to the top. But I don't know. <laughs> I would feel bad. I don't think I would enjoy like the, the win then, you know what I mean? Get millions of followers and become PewDiePie, and that much income would be nice, though, than hire a production company to organize content for you. But, like, that ain't a good foundation to build off of. Um, I don't, like, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't the one making the content, though. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think if I had, like, a manager, right? or an assistant either but probably a manager <laughs> i would need them to like help me organize projects and then do like the legwork in finding like like if i needed commissions or something like do the legwork in finding like a reputable person for that and then reaching out to them and getting in contact and stuff and then also like finding things like sponsorships and brand deals and things like that that doesn't sound like a mod at all. It's like the exact opposite of a mod. Mods just watch the chat and make sure you dingleberries don't say anything stupid. Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. Jeez, what the fuck? Managers are wranglers first and foremost. I don't, like, I don't know. I guess that's more of an assistant. I don't know. I also just, like, I would like people to bounce ideas off of. Because I feel very, like, dried up on the idea front. Because, like, I have, like, some silly ideas. But, like, I need to flesh them out. And then I just, like, I feel like I'm staring at a wall. If that makes sense. But, I don't know. A manager is a mod that controls the character. They're not a mod, though. They're a manager. Mods, mod chat. Gersh, what? I said a stupid word. Good job, Caboose. I'm proud of you. I'm not sure what you're up to, but I, I'm proud of you. I... S it means dishwasher in German. Can Do you want to explain to the class why you needed to spell that? Can we, can we share with the class the thought process? German compound word. Sounds stupid when you say it. <laughs> These are popular stuff. It's scary to see how they find it. A lot of their stuff has been said public in stream. Stock seems very promising with what you're describing. I'm very optimistic there. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I gotta keep an eye out for 
I did it. I did audition for them the first time. I don't know if I can say that. I think I tweeted that I did anyway, so either way, I don't know. But I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know. VTuber companies are also weird because sometimes they don't like it when you say that you have, you auditioned, but some don't care. You never really know what you're going to get. <laughs> I might just fucked myself over. I don't know. <laughs> Time to delete the VOD. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, like if that if I were to, if I were to join a company, that's what that that is what I would like out of out of a company. But so hello hello lives out of out of the the crosshairs. Must preserve kifabe at all times. I know I'm really bad at that. I talk too much. I'm I'm too yappy. I'm a yappy chicken. Too yappy. Let's see, what else happened? Okay, so we got Concord. Did anyone, I have to remember, cause there's, is Concord the game that had like the bully and the cancel mechanic? Oops. It's like a vampire masquerade. Bully can't, no. Concord game. Yeah, was that the one that had like, or is that a different game? I keep mixing Concord up with another game, I think. There was one that had like a bully or like a cancel. I was offline in four days. Yeah, Overwatch clone with mid character. I I don't know. Mid, mid character designs is going a little, you're being a little bit too kind, I think. I don't think they're mid. Hello, Meow Mix. I don't know why everyone's like a blimp. Everyone's got to be very large for some reason. There's one woman, it seems like in this entire game, that's not like in some kind of balloon suit. That's very odd. Yeah, they're not mid. I don't think they're mid at all. Let's look at the, and then we got like the, the, the crocodile guy. The plight of Concord. I'm trying to find more pictures of their characters. It's very hard. It's like they take like other characters and then that already exist and they're like, how can we make these look worse? And then they put them in like street clothes. Like there's no, I feel like the area I generated all of these. Because there's no, um, what's the word, um, cohesion between any of these outfits, like, any of the designs. There's zero cohesion. Besides, like, big. Dustborn is a cancel culture game. Oh, yeah, 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 that one is another one. Tyler is just Guardians of the Galaxy 2. They're... They worked on Concord for like eight years or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Obviously, I don't think they were made on AI, which is kind of even worse, honestly. If they're not AI generated. I don't, they're like, like, what is this? What are you? The fact that someone signed off on it and went, yep, looks good. I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying you have to make, like, every character, like, sexy AF, right? But, like, the designs are just in bad, gen like, in bad general. In general, like, they're just not good. Like, I don't understand. There's no cohesion between them. They don't feel like they're from the same universe. They feel like they're from, like, 16 different games. Everyone's, like, everyone has, like, weird oversized parts. Like, one person has, like, her stomach's just, like, a blimp. And another person has, like, huge shoulders. Another person has, like, huge feet. And then they have, like, a weird cat lizard girl. I don't know. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's There's no cohesion between them all. It's very meh. What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about Concord. I was talking about the character designs of Concord.
Meanwhile, Smash Bros. and PlayStation All-Stars exist. Redoing the art would only take them a few months and could be saved. I, well, I mean, it sounds like art wasn't the only issue. It sounds like they just made Overwatch and they tried to charge money for it. But no, I think it would take a lot more than a few months to overhaul these designs. I think a lot of them would have to go, like, if they gave it to a different team, I think, like, 80% of them would have to go back to the drawing board from scratch, like, back to concepting. And I don't think, I don't think that would take months. I think that would at least take a year, if not longer. Like, that one dude just looks like the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy that has, like, the fin on his head. The crocodile guy. Oh, they have one, like, sexy girl, but she's in a space suit with a space helmet. Deadlock made me hate myself more than League, which is insane. I don't... I remember hearing about Deadlock, but I don't know what it is. Hold on. Is that another arena shooter thingy? Deadlock is an upcoming action game developed for Valve. Combines hero shooter and MOBA games. Why is everyone making hero shooters, dude? I ended up paying money for Overwatch. I certainly didn't buy the collector's edition. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Um, I haven't heard much about Wukong. Um, like when it released, there was a little bit of hype, but beyond that, uh, was it Myth Black Myth? Black Myth? Yeah, Black Myth and Wukong. I heard that they're gonna be making more though. I haven't like heard much though. So. Like, I heard it's fun, and then it looks really pretty, and, and that's all I've heard. So, like, it's Smite, which is F FPS, Dota 2, which is also League. Maybe Chinese propaganda. Wait, why, why is that Chinese propaganda? I didn't even hear about Wukong, so that's saying something. Overwhelmingly, there's 500,000 reviews on it. You're not allowed feminist propaganda while streaming Wukong? Oh, okay. Gaming News doesn't like talking about games they don't like. That's, fa that's fair. Well, got Genshin and all of them are Tencent. I don't know who made Wukong, though. Just because it's Chinese doesn't mean they're trying to steal your your social security number, probably. Well, there's always sponsored streaming rules like that, though. Like that's not that's not like I don't know that's not a that's not a crazy thing to be. All all games when you stream them have rules about what you can and cannot talk about. Wukong stuck pretty close to the story it was based off of, so it would be well received. Yeah, that makes sense. I heard it's like um Dark Souls though. It's got like a Dark Souls Souls Soulsborn type thing. How many rules go no feminist? I mean, I've seen ones where they're like, you can't talk about gender politics, you can't talk about any politics, you can't talk about um there's one I saw you can't you couldn't talk about higher education during the stream. Um there's one that you couldn't talk about um what was it? It was really weird. Oh, you couldn't mention COVID. That was one. That was like they get really specific sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like if if you like sit down and read them, they get they get really weird sometimes. But like, and you know, like, granted, it's from China, so that might be a little bit more nefarious. But a lot of them, they just don't want to be like tied to that kind of stuff at all. So they just say like, just don't bring it up. <laughs> you know, it's not necessarily nefarious in saying it. It's just they just don't want to be tied to anything that might be. Um, what is the word? Not magnetic, polarizing. They just, you know, they don't want their game involved in that.
Let's see. Wukong, oh, Wukong looks dope. Get to be the Monkey King. Can't say much. I've been playing Starfield, so my judgment doesn't matter much. It's Dark Souls because you can dodge. It's more like old and ac older action adventure games. Ah. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping AAA gaming studios collapse so we can start more creative and fresh IPs. I know. they. A lot of them just keep, like, rehashing. Like, I just saw on Steam, like, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I'm like, let it die. <laughs> let it die. It's not like the... <laughs> Can't talk about June 4th. It's not like the new guy where there's more than 70 FOV. Was there a party? Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I'll never be able to stream on Billy Billy. Not, not once. Not even once. Fresh ideas and fresh IPs are what the world needs. I've seen too many weird boots. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. So many people have been screaming that for so long. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't happened yet. You know, like, Disney's a great one that they just keep rehashing, like, their old stuff and doing it poorly. And I'm like, you've had flop after flop after flop after flop. Like, when is it going to be enough for you to understand? <laughs> like, when's the limit? When are you going to get it? No one wants to watch this. You got, like, 12 people watching this shit. You know what I mean? Like, Wish was ter- well, I don't know. It was fine. It wasn't- I don't know if I used the word terrible. It was weird. Um, and then... Like, the Snow Snow White coming out is really weird. Um, the CGI dwarves are terrifying. And that was after people, because, like, weren't they going to have, like, real people as dwarves and then people got mad and then they had to, like, redo that whole bit? So now there's no real people. And there's no dwarves. Like, there's, yeah, the dwarves are CGI. The dwarves are all CGI. And they're, like, um, Uncanny Valley CGI. It's, it's terrifying. Well, I know, I know Tara, so I know Tyrion Lannister got mad, but I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, when they first, like, leaked that this movie was coming, they had, like, seven, like, fully four, seven, like, tall people, <laughs> like, casted to play the dwarves quote unquote but they weren't supposed to be the dwarves but they were supposed to be like dwarf like the position of the dwarves but they weren't supposed to be dwarves if that makes sense and then people hated that so then they were gonna have real dwarves and then peter dinklage got mad and now there are no dwarves <laughs> well there are dwarves but they're cgi dwarves Did I just hear a rock and a stone? I don't think so. But yeah, so it's just there. Here, let me let me find a picture of it. They're kind of scary. Um, I don't know how to spell dwarves. Holy cow! There we go. <laughs> They're very like uncanny valley. I guess this is the best picture I'm going to get. All right, hold on. We're going to get Sexy Callie for a second. Yeah, they're like... That's them. It's It's weird. Oh, yeah. So, like, I think you can't see my mouse. I think the people in the corner here were, the, like, supposed to be the original dwarves that they had cast, and the people didn't like that, so now they did this. But I think that's Peter Dinklage, isn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, now can we get Sexy Kelly back? They're, they're kind of... They're kind of terrifying. Yeah. No, I'm, but I'm pretty sure that is, it looks like him, his face. It looks like his face. They were replaced. That looks like his face. Hold on. Now I need to know. Oh, I guess that wasn't him. I don't know. I thought Small was Dinklage. Yeah. Apparently, he's refused to take any roles that would um, be stereotypical to little people. So he will play big people roles, but he will not play little people roles. I guess. That wizard... Why him voice go away? What? I love Dinklage in the game of destiny. Wasn't Tyrion short? I never read them. I don't know. I know he's not supposed to have a nose. I know that. But he has a nose in the show. I don't know if he's supposed to be like hobbit sized. <laughs> I don't know. Ow. Arm is, arm is itchy. But, yeah. Man, so much weird stuff happened. And then, and then, are we going in an ad soon? How much until ad time? 13 minutes. Okay. You keep ruining things I like. I know. Well, here, 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 Shuggle. Let me add another one. Uh, Linkin Park situation? Can we talk about that a little bit? They have a new lead singer. Um, Emily Armstrong. <laughs> Linkin Park's new... New lead singer. She's she's a thing now. <laughs> that was a weird that was a weird tweet to see. I choose to ignore that. Nah, we're talking about it, man. LinkedIn Park, yeah. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? Um, she sounds fine. I'm not gonna touch base on any of the Scientology crap going around her. Um, they already she addressed it. Um, and like a very normal person kind of way. So whether she's lying or not, we'll never know. So it's not even worth a point addressing. I spent an hour this morning comparing their old music. So like they, for so for me, they fell off when they like swapped to like the more emo-y kind of, um, less rap kind of stuff for me. Um... So that was like, like when Chester took more of a frontman role and, and Mike kind of fell back. I thought Mike left. I thought Mike had left Lincoln Park, Mike Shadona. I thought he left. Apparently he did not leave Lincoln Park. But I thought he had left and moved on to something else. And that's why there's such a drastic change in the music. So I, they kind of fell off for me at that point. So they have her to do more of that kind of music. I hope you don't touch bass fee. You can only play drums, drumsticks. Not Chester, Mike. I mean, we don't, we know Chester. We know what happened to Chester. But yeah, I don't know. Like her voice is fine. I don't dislike her voice. Um, When she, I listened to her sing crawling and it just, like, and like even Mike just sounds tired. Like it just feels like a bunch of 40 year old dudes. You know what I mean? It's like a cover. It feels like a Linkin Park cover band. It feels weird. It's it's weird. You you gallo that one band, Buddha. You do that. 
So it's just, I don't know. I'm sure they're... I have grown to appreciate all their albums more over time. I kind of just stopped listening to them, to be honest with you. What is that one? Is it Minutes to Midnight? Hold on. Am I thinking of the right band? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that one? That's, I think that was the last one. Like, I listened to it for, like, a little bit and went, now nah, it's ain't my vibe. And then I just kind of stopped listening to them. Fort Minor, yeah. Yeah. That's why I thought Mike left. I thought he left and went to Fort Minor. I thought I thought he started a new a new thing. Lincoln Park if they played at a Denny's. Yeah, it it makes me sad. Like cuz it's not I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's like an affront to God by any means. It's just it's so, it feels very watered down. And I, it, I kind of feel like there's like this really tired horse and they're just kind of like trudging it along, like they're forcing it along. You know what I mean? That's, that's what it feels like. Like the horse is tired. Let it, let it rest. When Mike and her duet, it kind of echo Chester a bit, but it doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, like I was listening to the, the emptiness machine and there was like one point where I was like, I get the Chester vibe. Like it's there and I understand why they picked her. But at the same time, it's just like it feels like there's no energy anywhere anymore. Like even in their live shows, like there's zero energy. Not it's not the horse isn't dead. It's tired. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. For once, I agree with Otter. It doesn't feel like their hearts are in it. Which is like, you know, I wonder if they are just trying to cash in on the name, you know, because like Linkin Park has a very diehard fan base and they're very nostalgic and a lot of people grew up on Linkin Park and, it, you know, it makes you wonder if they're just trying to cash in on that or if it's just something so close and important to them that they just can't like physically let it go, you know? Hello, Mimo. So I don't know. Like, I want to say I hope it's the second one, but that also makes me sad on, like, a different level. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's hard to watch stuff you grew up with. And and it's just, like, it's like a heat death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, HBO's development. No, that was an affront to God. I didn't know if Sum 41 was still together either, I'll be honest with you. Is Green Day still together? No, they broke up, right? Oh, they're still touring? What the fuck? No way! Oh my god, they look like creepy uncles. Oh no, this is terrible news. <laughs> Why, you guys? Just let it go. I used to have a crush on the drummer of Green Day. <laughs> Was it Mike Mike Dirt or something like that? Wow, that is crazy. They're so old now though. That's what I'm saying. I have never seen them live. That's a whole nother sad boy story that V has with Green Day and seeing Green Day live. But now V knows how I feel about Fallout games. Ew, Lonely Island. I'm trying to think of another band. My Chemical Romance just got back together, right? Like, didn't they, like, kind of... I don't want to say break up, but they, like, ended it and then came back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, this is crazy. Yeah, they got back together in uh 2023. No. They announced they were they came back together in 2019 and then they were they were, ended their tour in 2023. So they just they just finished a tour. So I'm sure they're making more songs right meow as we speak. Wow. Immediately sold out. Damn. That's crazy. They look so old now too. No, everyone looks so old. This is so weird. 
They look like them, but with uh, like an extra 30 pounds. <laughs> and look more tired. Oh yeah, Paramore. Is Paramore still together? They're still together, right? Oh my god, you guys are like getting a... You guys are getting a glimpse into my life. Oh wow, they're free agents though. They're free agents. Oh, Taking Back Sunday. Don't say that. Don't say that. Seen so many memes about a waste of steering it because they're being pretentious douchebags about it. Mariah Carey still doing her Christmas year despite a terrible time losing her mother and sister recently. Damn. My favorite musician is dead. Who is your favorite musician? Oh my god, you think Katy Perry? I can't take anything you say seriously anymore. Oh my god. His voice is shot, V. It's terrible. No! Chris Cornell? That sounds familiar. Oh, for Soundgarden and Audio. He's dead? What did he do? What happened? Oh, I just saw it. Oh, man. I had no idea. I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest. I haven't listened. I don't I don't follow up on a lot of bands unless I get hyper-focused on them. Such as Green Day. He's been dead for years. Damn it, dude. When did he die? 2017? Oh, no. Yeah. Damn. All right, guys. We're going to have an ad in three minutes and 44 seconds. We can chit chat until then. Um, but I'm going to go to the bathroom once that pops off because I have been holding my pee for about 45 minutes now. So I'm going to go release the hounds. <laughs> what? <laughs> once, once the ad starts and I'm going to get more water. I can drink Mountain Dew. No, no caffeine. It's too late for caffeine. Oh, I have not seen a Treyu. I have seen, um, I have seen Disturbed, Slipknot, um, Five Finger Death Punch, In This Moment, um, oh my god, there's more. Hold on. I... Have I seen... I have seen Avenged Sevenfold. Do I have I? Yeah. Yeah. Have I? No. Am I confusing them with another band? No, it must have been. Um. Hold on. Hold on. No, I'm like... No. I don't remember what the other ones were. There was more. I'm like blanking out on them. I'm seeing all that remains. They played next to Dollar Store like five minutes from where I used to live. That's crazy. I think that's how I saw Event Sevenfold too. It was like at a weird county fair situation. And I was like, it, and it was free. It can't be Event Sevenfold. Wasn't it? I think so though. I think they played Event Sevenfold songs. It wasn't a cover band. So that was dope. Oh, corn. I've seen corn. Um, Oh, 
Did we see? No, I didn't see Chevelle. I wanted to. Hailstorm. I saw Hailstorm. Um. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to remember. This is so hard. There's a whole bunch of them. But yeah. I don't know. There's there is more. I can't think of them though. My brain has been has been fried. But yeah, I've seen all those all those <laughs> Slipknot was crazy cuz it was right after well, it wasn't right after, but um Corey Taylor had had his like neck issue. I don't know if he had surgery or if he just heard it. I think he had had surgery. So he's like, he had like the mask on and everything and they had still like the crazy pyrotechnics and the drummers were going up and down and stuff. But like he had like this big thick neck brace on cause he, and he's like, I can't head <laughs> So it was, yeah. So he like broke his own neck or something. I don't remember what happened. Oh uh, yeah. So he just, he couldn't, he couldn't do that. So he's like walking around with this huge thick neck brace. There was a mosh pit during hash pipe. We got yelled at by security because you had to pay um, for the Slipknot show. You had to pay to get into the pit. And then people just started moshing like in our little section. And like security got all pulled over and stuff. And then like the police were called. It was a, it was, it was a mess. Hailstorm is local to me. They're from Red Lion. So about 40 minutes. That's cool. I love Hailstorm. They have some, they have some uh, bops. They have some bangers. has another band i don't like sick puppies sick puppies is one of those bands that i should like but i just don't and i have no reason for it i just don't we're on an ad i'm gonna go to the bathroom i will cook up words so commissar will pay attention again <laughs> All right, there you go, kids. All right, I'll be back after the ad break, probably before then, and enjoy your words. Enjoy your words with stream.
Aha! You lose it. Say bye bye to words. Say bye bye. Bye bye words. Loser nerds. Nerd losers. No words. Oomst. Really wanted to go see Laura Shore in Whitechapel till I realized it's in Philly. It's on a fucking Tuesday. Oh, that's weird. A Tuesday. <laughs> Come, it's a. I always know he's lurking. Oh, I didn't. Did I do good? Oh, I don't know. I didn't even see the. I didn't even. I didn't even look at the thing. I just turned it off. <laughs> what else, guys? You do. You, do any of you have news? I'm trying to think if there's more news. New more changes. There's the Nikocado avocado nonsense. That was that was weird. Um. Can you get me a face tracker that isn't an iPhone? Why? I got commissioned to work with a game, and that's all new to me. But iPhone aren't well. I don't aren't iPhones preferred? I've returned from my age-long ban head banishment, chapter master. Oh, poor Hollow. We didn't even talk about you this time. Yeah, iPhone. I mean, that's what I got. I got an iPhone 10. Breaking immersion. <laughs> no, 10X. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to update it in like two or three years. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I get that V Bridger, <laughs> the V Bridger. I think they're on like 20 something, aren't they? Did they skip it and just go with the year they're releasing now though? Cause that's what Samsung's doing. I know you can do like for full body tracking for like 3D models, you can do, um, what's it called? Um, media pipe. I don't know how to set that up though. I don't know how that shit works. My poor A21. Oh, little bean. Little bean. I'm gonna learn. Um, but yeah, you can use like Media Pipe with Warudo to do like um, webcam tracking, which I guess is really, really good. You need space though. I don't have that. My decision to trim my beard down is turning into my cutting my hair. That's my news for the day. Well, thank you, Gamma, for sharing. I appreciate you. I will share what knowledge I have to- yeah, share. Share with the class. Simply upload yourself to the digital realm. Wouldn't things be so much easier? I wouldn't have to eat. Guys, I made- speaking of eating, I made- <laughs> So before the stream, all day, I- I- okay, hold on, hold on. Let me back up, let me back up, let me back up. I've decided I'm going to be a healthy bird, right? I've- I'm going to eat well, I'm going to eat lunch. I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna make it healthy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat properly. If you're familiar with VTubers, we don't like eating. <laughs> so, so I was like, I am gonna make overnight oats, and then I'm gonna put them in my fridge, and then tomorrow morning I will have breakfast, and I'll just be able to eat the breakfast. So all day, I'm like, I cannot, no, it started Friday, and I'm like, I have to remember to make overnight oats. I have to remember to make overnight oats. And then I forgot Friday. And then Saturday, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make overnight oats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make overnight oats. Forgot, totally forgot. I'm like, it's fine. I got one more day. I got one more day for overnight oats. And I totally forgot. And then like, I'm getting ready for the stream, and I go, oh fuck! <laughs> My overnight oats because I can't make them after the stream because I already know I'm gonna be exhausted because I'm already tired and I just want to flop as soon as stream is done, right? So I'm trying to make these overnight oats as quickly as possible. I'm trying to like put them in the the jar and I have like a little spoon. Not a big spoon. I have a little normal people spoon and I'm trying to spoon like one tiny scoop at a time into these jars 
And I don't know what happened, but I'm like holding the jar in my left hand, you know, like a C clamp kind of grip. And I'm spooning with my right. And I just totally missed the top of the jar. And I just threw the oats like all over my hand and like down my arm. <laughs> And it was out everywhere and it was so sad and I had to clean it up and then I go back to my little spoon and spooning the oats into the jar oh no yeah so but hopefully they're tasty I've never had overnight oats I'm not like absorbing the nutrients via skin yeah I'm like oatmeal is fine for me it's like not a preferred breakfast, but it's also not like the worst reference. Reference. Damn it. Preference. Preference? Is that the word? Like oatmeal's fine. So I don't know how I feel. I added like apples. The gym tubas really love overnight. Yeah, well, because I need, I'm going to the gym tomorrow too. So like I don't have time to make breakfast. Yeah, so I added like apples and some maple syrup and some vanilla and like spices and stuff. So I'm hoping it kind of tastes apple pie-y. I don't know if I'm going to make it hot or not though. Like I might just make it cold because I'm lazy. But I also don't like cold things in the morning. I want my coffee. Although maybe cold oatmeal with hot coffee will be good. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. <laughs> I will see. I added chia seeds too. So, we'll see how it goes with the coffee oats. No, no, no. Like, I have coffee and then I also have oats. I saw overnight oats and thought it was some yuppie stuff. It's pretty yuppie. Chia seeds are slimy goodness. They're good for you. They're really good for you. I used to, um... I used to, like, put... Like, like take a... <laughs> I used to take a tortilla and then, um... Oh god, I hate PB2 and I don't know why because I love peanut butter, but PB2 is so gross to me. I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, I used to take peanut butter and put it on a tortilla and then like put chia seeds on top and then put honey on top of that and then roll it up. But then apparently that's very bad for you and you can choke because there's not enough liquid for the chia seeds to absorb. So they can get stuck in your throat. Allegedly is what I've heard. <laughs> PB2 sucks ass. That's not how you think. I've tried it. Like, I've had friends who have had it. I'm like, can I just try it? Because I'm, I'm interested. And then I try it. Like, I'll try it by itself. And then I'll try it on some, with something else. And it's just, it's very gritty. Because you have to have a fucking master's in chemistry to add the right amount of water to it. I have stuff to make, like, pumpkin overnight oats, too. Like, a pumpkin pie overnight oats. I'm basically just going to make overnight oats and just make them into desserts. And that's what I'm going to have for breakfast every morning. It's still low in sugar, though, so it's okay. It's okay. It's got to be low in sugar. High in fiber. Ah. I do like my strawberry milkshake protein powder. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I got to reorder my Rogue Energy. My rogue energy stuff. Guys, by the way, <laughs> speaking of rogue energy. <laughs> no, but for real, I do need to order. <laughs> or confetti cake, because I'm an adult child. I love confetti cake. I think what I'm going to do with my rogue is I'm going to order like a, an energy flavor and then I'm going to order a hydration flavor that works with that energy flavor and then I'm going to do a half and half and that's what I'm going to take to the gym. I think is my plan. The yapping is monumental. Hello, Joey. Oh, you can subscribe now too? That's neat. So you just get your rogue to your door. Ooh, snowstorm hydration. Plus, then you have less caffeine. I don't like all the caffeine in an energy drink. Interesting mix. Rogue on demand. Just go, go, rogue. Um, 
because I'm I, I've said that before I'm like I'm sensitive to caffeine so like I do like energy drinks because like sometimes I just need that but like I don't like a shit ton of caffeine I want to live you know oh excuse me the dragon fruit mango one was pretty good what is snowstorm what flavor is snowstorm Does it taste like snow? They've been steadily reducing the caffeine in energy drinks too. That's a good, that's a good thing. It's good. You mean you don't just scoop it and take it straight to the dome? No, I want to live. I finished all my fruit punch. I wonder if I can, is Snowstorm a try for free one? No, it's not. Someone get Snowstorm and tell me if it's good. <laughs> What's 2.0 formula? What's that? What's that? Brother, ew. <laughs> Tiger's blood is on here twice? Oh, no, it's blood orange. Essentials. Um, try that. But they're e. Sometimes you do require extensive shoveling. I know, but I want to know what the flavor is. Guys, what flavors do you think works with? All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. I like the grape, but if I want to mix it with the hydration, they have snowstorm ruby splash. Which I looks raspberry flavored. Sour watermelon. Radiant Rush, which looks like it might be cranberry. Rainbow candy. Strawberry bubblegum. Fruit punch or dragon fruit. Something citrus is my guess. Maybe I can Google it. What does Rogue Energy Snowstorm taste like? I need to know. Winter green drink sounds gross. I'm not gonna lie. I was that dumbass who got so desensitized to caffeine that I was taking my pre work and scooping straight into my mouth before I lifted. That's terrifying. I don't want to listen to this guy. Just tell me. Oh, it's in a review. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's bubblegum flavored. So it's like cherry or bubblegum. Is it the, is that the caffeine, the big guy? Uh, eh. Aussie Nuts? His name is Aussie Nuts. Ew. I don't, I, Bubblegum and cherry don't make me think snowstorm, but okay. Okay, so what is Ruby Splash then? I kind of wish they would just tell me the flavors. Just tell me the flavors! Oh, it's watermelon. Okay, Ruby Splash is watermelon. Okay, so what if I got like... I mean, it's very. it would be very easy to play it safe. Just get like Fruit Punch. And then... Fruit punch hydration. And then get something else. <laughs> Does he look like a bookkeeper for the mob? Nah. Bubblegum is too artificial tasting. I know. Why bubblegum? They already have a bubblegum flavor. They need more flavors. Okay, so apparently the fruit punch is like Hawaiian punch. And then Rocket Pot would probably be good. Uh, no, I'm getting a sample of that. I'll do that. I think I'll just keep... Maybe I'll just get this. Because I have a little bit of the Grape Popsicle left. So I think the Grape Pops... What is 2.0? What is 2.0 formula? What is that? What makes it 2.0? Our Grape... Our Grape Popsicle Energy 2.0 formula is a unique spin on our traditional rogue energy. Its formula is maltodextrin-free, uses natural caffeine, and uses an exciting new ingredient called theocrine. Oh. Oh, 
It's new. Theocrine is good. And it's got less caffeine. Guys, it's got less caffeine. I'm all about this life. I'm all about this. This is good. This is great. I love slightly less caffeine. I want to live. <laughs> I mean, the their original one still has like 175 milligrams of caffeine, so you're fine there. I told you they've been reducing caffeine. I just want to live, guys. I just want to live. Ah. All right, we're going to check out now. I'll I'll check out after stream. Am I shopping with you guys on stream? Last caffeine cringe. I want to live. <laughs> I want amino bases. I get it. Shopping stream. People do that. Oh, but I'll save more money if I do a subscription. No, cuz I don't know what flavor I want. I don't know what flavor I want. I don't know. Don't want acid. Should it taste like vinegar? No, vinegar tastes like... No, 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 no. Vinegar tastes like acid. Acid doesn't taste like vinegar. That's how that works. It's nice because you can feel like you're shopping without spending money. There you go. Okay, I got fruit punch hydration. Maybe that'll be better for gym time then. We shall see. Ah, my ankles hurt. I get like, like I need, I need like a pep, a pick me up when I go to the gym because I'm so sleepy, but I don't want to be like shaky while I'm at the gym because I'm so not sleepy anymore. <laughs> hey, while you're out shopping, you pick up some Slim Jims. Oh, Slim Jims are so gross though. They're disgusting. Arms, cardio, abs. So when I do gym time, I swap between arms and legs. Um... But I always do abs and I always do cardio. So I'll do like one. So like day one will be legs, abs, cardio. And then day two will be like arms, abs, cardio. <laughs> Slim James is our threshed cow. Arms. I'm going to do legs tomorrow though. Those are for me. They start looking at rifle parts so I can get- I- I don't think I can. Isn't there like some law about that or is that just a Discord thing? So retime feedback on sticker shock. I am not- I don't look at gun parts so I don't know when stuff is expensive and not expensive. It's all gonna look expensive to me. I don't shop for guns. The wifeish James. Nanny. The first law of gun ownership is to have fun. Wasn't it like you can't talk about prices or anything with guns somewhere? Was that on Discord or was that everywhere? <laughs> Is that a law? Because like I'm broadcasting on, on Twitch. I don't know. Who knows? Just get a Nor, Nor Inco. I've never even heard of that. I'm not trying to sell guns. Twitch, I'm not trying to sell guns. Not even a little bit. Not even a tiny little bit. Now, first rule is always treat like it's loaded. Second is always have fun. Third rule is, are those level four blades? <laughs> what was I watching? I was trying to figure out... Oh, have you guys seen Planet of the Apes? Like the new ones, not the old ones. You still sell art though, right? Yeah, I got a couple prints up. Um, Actually, I ordered the prints and I got the proofs. So there'll be, the actual prints will be here for the um, Ronnie art and the uh, Velen art is will be going out to people soon. I did, I only got, I got a small amount of each um, 
because there weren't a lot of pre-order orders, but. Can you sell Art of a Gun? I can. I have. I have sold Art of a Gun. I have referenced it coming eventually so I can actually commission stuff. Yeah, commissions are still open too. Yep, 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 yep. Doctor's Day. I, I, I've never, okay. Oh wow, this is gonna hurt some of you. I have never seen the original Planet of the Apes. I just, I watched all of the, the rise of the Planet of the Apes, like the prequels, quote unquote. Hold on a minute. With Caesar. Full of Caesar. I watched all of those and they were very good. And I hope another one comes out. Wow, yeah, see, I knew it was gonna upset some of you. I knew I knew that information was gonna cause some problems. No, um Maurice is my bro, guys. If you watch if you watch them, Maurice is a bro. We like Maurice. We're Maurice stands in this house. I have some time to do the funny and surprise the SpaceX peeps. Yeah! You're right, we do. We got we got the pox coming, the M pox coming. But yeah, they're very good. I would recommend. Um, I can't compare them to the old ones because I haven't seen them, but they are very good. They did a really good job with the the apes, um, like still looking like apes, but being expressive enough that like you can like tell that they're feeling things does that make sense with marky mark i don't know who's marky mark rise of the planet of the apes i don't know that guy's name he looks like a marky mark james franco that's not james franco that is james franco jesus He's like a chameleon. He's just... He's got really... He's got a really weird repertoire of movies. He's got... Fucking... Weird, like, the interview and... And the end is... This is the end. And then he's got stuff like... 127 hours in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Mark Wahlberg. They're just anthro enough to be relatable. Yeah, but they're not like creepy, like the dwarves from <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I can't tell if James Franco's attractive or not. Like, I can't. Like, there's like three neurons firing, but I feel like there should be more. Wait, they make... Oh, no, my god, Joey doesn't know. They made all the dwarves CGI. No, I'm showing you. Joey. There they are, Joey. <laughs> They're back. They Look at them. Look at them, Joey. Look at them. Look at that nose. Look at that honker on that thing, man. Look at that guy. They're huge. They're huge. <laughs> Why? Just make an animated... Disney, please, just make an animated movie again. I'm begging you. James Franco's brother? Is it Tom Franco? Baby committing poison M. <laughs> Did James Franco get caught up with some morally questionable recently? I don't pay attention to celebrity news. Um, like, I don't remember anything, but if he did, I also wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? Wow, 1985. Dave Franco? Let me look. Dave Franco. Dave, Dave, wait. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? You mean Tom, wait. Hold on, my brain just broke. Dave Franco is the original guy we were talking about. Tom Franco's the brother. Right?
Three brothers. Okay, there's there's James, Dave, and Tom. So who are we talking about? Because I was talking about Dave. No, there's James, Dave, and Tom. I'm going for Frank Franco. <laughs> like, ah, uh, my brain is dying. The, guys, I have two brain cells left and they are screaming right now. Hey, Disney makes a lot of anime movies. Everything Marvel is like 90% green screen. It's basically an animated movie. I mean like drawn animated. Like a cartoon. I want fucking cartoon Disney back. I want that back. I'm sorry. Okay, so which which brother are you talking about? James Franco? Wait, they're showing... Philip DeFranco. I used to watch Philip DeFranco when I was, uh, young and stupid. <laughs> Did you know that before they started animating Marvel movies, like a year before they started writing the movie? That's how. The big CGI set paces are completely independent of the movie? What? How do they know what they have to make if the movie's not around? Wait, James Franco. Wait, James Franco. Oh my God, I am getting all these Franco brothers so confused. I don't know. I don't know, I, they might be the same person. I don't even know. James Franco and Dave Franco might be the same people. I don't even know anymore. Sorry, Viva, there works a family. Oh Deadpool and Wolverine, though, that was that was a masterpiece. Actually, it kind of felt like an ad for all the new Marvel movies that would be coming. I don't know how I felt about it. Like, it was, I don't know. I felt like a long ad sometimes. Although, I hope they have a gambit, and I hope it's good. Because, uh, what's his nuggets? And that accent was hilarious. I'm mad that the best scene in the movie was shameless product placement. Which scene was that, Joey? Um, what is that guy's name? Remelebu. Gambit. Actor. Channing Tatum. I was gonna say Charles. <laughs> The car fight. Oh yeah, that's what I felt like. It was like it felt like a big ad, but I feel like that was on purpose. Like that was the meme. But I don't know. You know what I mean? But I hope they give Chang Tae a chance to make an absolutely ridiculous gambit. That would make me a happy person. <laughs> James is the interviewer. Dave has always been a frat boy, and Tom looks like he's the first Friday artist. Okay, so which one are we... Who was in... Okay, wait. Oh, my God. Who was in... Okay, so James DeFranco was the original guy. Holy shit. Okay, the original guy we were talking about was James DeFranco. Hello, Zara. Hello, Raiders. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. I hope your stream was good. Hello and welcome. The whole quote me on that bit. So it was James. James was there. So yeah, James is the actor that was in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Went well except my wife. Went well except my Wi-Fi crashing two times. Oh no, that's the worst. All my points. 
Oh, Suna, you only had so many points. Oh, no. Dang. You guys only have 20 days to do the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, by the way. Oh, it's only 20 days. So you, if you have points and you want to see this. How did we all somehow? I think we might all collectively might be stupid. I think <laughs> I think every single one of us in this chat <laughs> might be stupid, including myself. <laughs> um, if you guys hit your points for uh, for for the points goal, I will. Sh I found a bunch of old Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a tin, so I will do a hand cam and I'll show off all my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm both smart and stupid. Man, do I feel that. I bet he's only going to stream like two times before that. I have four streams this week and two of them are very long. Do you have Slice for the executive producer? Uh, I don't think I have any of the God cards. Now that I think about it, I think I was trying to find a Slifer and then I kind of stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Where are you guys at on that? I want to see. 23% raised, 17 days left. You guys got this. You got this. My friend stole my Dark Magician. Kill him. Kill him. I was so excited when I got a Dark Magician girl. I was like squealing. Literally squealing when I got Dark Magician Girl. And then I don't think I have her anymore. I think I lost her. I don't think I have her anymore. I haven't actually gone through... I haven't gone through the deck. So I don't know what's in it. So we're, we would find out together what is in my deck. She's so cute. I just remember watching the show and then like they'd have Dark... Like Yugi would put the Dark Magician out and then like Dark Magician Girl would come out and then... Like, my stupid brain was like, I shipped those two. <laughs> I shipped, I shipped Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Isn't that like the craziest ship ever? That's just so insane. I have a first edition Dark Magician Girl. Damn. Do you have like those metal poster things? No. Like the disc plates? Best Yu-Gi-Oh! TV. <laughs> I had red eyes, black dragon, and based my whole personality on it when I was a kid. Amazing. You're like Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch like that first Yu-Gi-Oh! movie though? And then if you went to Burger King, you got like the soundtrack for it with your kids meal. That soundtrack was a bop, dude. It was so good. So good. I, I wore that CD out, guys. That's such a good... <gasps> guys, we should do a movie launch along of the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. Amazing. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of content we live for. Elder nerd shit. Before Yu-Gi-Oh! got stupid. <laughs> All right, mods, make a note, cause I will forget. Did you watch season zero Yu-Gi-Oh? Was that animated? I have the manga, so I have I have all that like in comic book form. I don't think they ever animated that. Did they? Buddy got pyramid of light. What a nerd! Dark magician of chaos. Yeah, dark chaos magician. Season what? But it was like a kid show. Like a four kids. Game of Darkness. What? I have to go get ready for sleep. I've got work tomorrow. Have a good trip. Thank you. Thank you so much, Zero. I, I hope you uh, had a good stream. And thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. No, you wanted to be like Pegasus. Yeah, but like the four kids dub here in the U.S. was four kids. Uh, 
I immediately went to Kmart and bought the booster pack and the other cards from the movie and they all suck. No! I had the biggest crush on Yami Yugi, guys. I had the biggest crush on the Pharaoh. I can't find season zero, guys. You're so real for that. <laughs> it's <was> very intense. <laughs> he had the good. He had a good voice. His voice actor was solid. And then they went all weird with the GX and all that nonsense, and then I'm out. I'm out. I'm out at that point. Or they invented the Shadow Realm because they didn't want to say die. Wait, they were actually supposed to be dead? Guys, my experience with Yu-Gi-Oh! is the four kids dub. And then, like, the manga. Your mother, Kaiba, I activated her. What? I didn't know that. Merrick, Merrick also was like Yami. Merrick had <laughs> there was something wrong with me when I was a kid. <laughs> I was a fan of Dark Merrick. <laughs> now I want to watch all the Yu-Gi-Oh episodes with a with an adult mind. They never redubbed it though, right? It's just a four kids dub. Oh man, he's about to link season zero. Hello, Nikos! GX has the Undertaker as a character? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, there were death games because they made the puzzle of fate hacks more powerful. That's crazy. I never saw the Abridged series make fun of all the censoring. No, I never see, I've never seen the Abridged series. It's literally just been the four. It, I, I grew up and it fell off. You know, I just stopped. Just stopped watching it. Oh man. He gets sent to hell like immediately. Just immediately straight to hell. Dual monsters. And then they came out with the dual discs in like real life and then I was so excited and I was gonna buy one and then I realized it doesn't make the monsters show up in real life and I decided it was never like some kid at school had one like one with like a kid with rich parents just like showed up one day with one at school and like they didn't make the monsters I was like well that's stupid <laughs> but I didn't waste my money on that stupid idiot. I think someone threw a, a, a four square ball at him and broke it, if I'm going to be honest with you. The dual discs were not scared to use real cards. In yeah, right? It was garbage. They weren't even meant to be used with the cards. B, can you add a dual disc to your avatar? Should I be like Meriwether? But the pro pro pleca dual disc, it's really a bad decision, but worth it. Oh my gosh. Someone was like, you should uh play the online deck game. The the online duel game. I can't remember what's called the Yu-Gi-Oh! game, and I'm like, I wanna live. I wanna not wanna smash my head in the ground. Wow, that's really cool looking though. It fits the cards. It fits the cards. I don't... Yu-Gi-Oh! is so stupid nowadays. It's absolutely... Because there's too much of a power creep. So they had to make it, like, super ridiculous. Just to make it function again. The mobile game Duel Links or full PC game Master Duel. Thank you, Argus. Also, hello. Then they released the D-Gen cards. Oh, no. Why do you know about the D-Gen cards, Caboose? What's up with that? Manga's way better because it wasn't all cards, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh you know, cards are just like a paragraph each. Card games on motorcycles. But V! Don't you get- is it one or two cards for a pot of greed?
Yeah, Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed has the longest description ever. Card games on motorcycles. Oh, it's Robo. Community challenge 25% complete with a Robo. Uh, no, it's two cards. I'm looking right at it. It's two cards. That what it do, Yugi? 5D started really fucking cool. Then it got weird. Did it? Did it start cool though? Did it? Did it though? Oh my god, you can get an actual pot of greed off of... Off of Amazon. Guys, you can just buy a pot of greed off of Amazon. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'll show you. You can just buy the whole pot of greed off of Amazon. Oh wow, that looks terrible. Hold on a minute. It's 40... Stop that. It's $41. Here, wait, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show it to you. I don't know why I did it like this, but I did do it like this. There, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this thing. Current Yugi anime, they'd be like fighting in physical manifestation of the Shadow Realm with God or something. I don't know. I'd be very entertained watching you flip out over new Yu-Gi-Oh, please. No, so like, I, um, like playing it? I don't want to. I have no interest in it. I, I tried playing it when I got a little bit older and... Um, I didn't know the meta and all that jazz, and I'm dropping frames like crazy, which is super cute. Um, and I got, like, turn locked in the first round, and some dude, like, killed me in, like, two, two turns. Like, in, in person. In, like, two turns, and I didn't get to do anything, and I was like, this is stupid, and I'm never playing this again. I don't know. I'm still dropping frames. Oh, oh, am I back? Am I back? I think I'm back. I think I'm good, guys. Yeah, like, that happened. I'm, like, I'm literally never touching this game. Yeah, it's, it's, he's being kind to you. Yeah, see, that's that's when you know a game is trash, is when that kind of stuff is a regular, and people are using it as some kind of, like, pat on the back. Actual trash. That's when you know a game is trash, and it's balanced to horrible shit. It's not a good game at that point. It's bad. Games are meant to be played, not won. Rendering Amazon apparently takes more power than video. Yeah, apparently. We're close that. Goodbye. It's not good if that's like a normal thing. I don't know. I run Charmers, Trap Ticks, and Live Twin Decks. I have no idea what any of that is. I have no idea. I do hate rock, paper, scissors. I do. It's trash. That game is also trash. <laughs> you look at vampire vamp art and tell me. Okay, vampire vamp. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, there's two versions I'm looking at, Shuggle. Why are there two versions? One is more nude than the other. I have a Dark Magician deck in real life based around Dark Magician DMG and their legendary Dragon Knight infusion. I summon Man Eater Buck in attack position. Yeah, well, I don't know if this is like, I'm just looking at Google search. So I don't know if this is like legit, but she's got less clothes on in the second one. There's no... I don't know. Oh, I think someone repainted it. Never mind. Okay. It's a repaint. Someone painted over the cards like how people do with the Pokemon cards. I got really confused. I was like, the fuck? 
The one I have is fully clothed. I don't know if I call that fully clothed. The fan art doesn't seem to think so. Cards are more revealing and show nudity in the Asian version. Oh, like, uh, Girls Frontline? I used to play tons of Girls Frontline. And if you got, like, the Asian version, they get way more naky. <laughs> when they got damaged. <laughs> like, holy cow. What card are you looking at? Vampire Vamp? What the fuck? Did you not know that? Like, um, look up Chinese SOP mod girls frontline damage. Do that. Oh wow, there's a whole, there's a lot more of that now. Ah! Yeah, the the like the the Western version of her art is is significantly more covered than the damaged version, or than the Chinese version. I didn't even know that game existed until I started building my M16 and boy was that a rabbit hole. I played it for quite a while. Um, I got bored with the gameplay though and I just didn't want to do it anymore. There's going to be porn. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah, but you play is easy. I'm not really into gotchas. It'll be funny. Nikamil will show up on my computer browser. I'm like not, I don't know, like the, the, the GFL hit me in like a weird way that like, I don't know why. Cause I'm not like, I like, I'm not like a gun nerd, but it, their, their designs are very good. Also do what you want. I'm just suggesting. <laughs> I also don't want Chinese spyware on my computer, though, too, from Hoyo. As good as their character designs are. I feel like I miss a bunch of games solely because I don't have a PC or play mobile games. Yeah, you are going to miss a lot of games then. You're not missing much. Yeah. I... I... My wallet is intact. That's the other thing is like, I won't spend money on gotchas. Like I, any money I spent on GFL was like the money I got from like the Google reward or yeah, the Google rewards like survey thingies that pop up every now and then. So like, I just have like $5 sitting there. So then like, you know, they're like, oh, they expire soon. So then I just buy some pulls for GFL. Ever played Dead by Daylight? Yes, I used to play that a lot. I haven't played it in a very long time, though. I played it when it first came out. My wallet's not like that. God, I remember grinding up premium currency, like, on Roblox or something. Yup. By watching ads. Yup! Us poor kids gotta watch ads for the currency. Ugh. Finger guns, yes. I've never, no, I've never played Roblox either. I won't though. Roblox is one of those games that I just won't touch because um, of, of, I don't know. I have no need or want. There's like nothing in it. And then like, also they're just like a shitty company too. They added the Castlevania, Dracula and Trevor Belmont, no. Trevor Belmont, my beloved. <laughs> no. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, he's... Wait a minute. Hold on. 
Oh, he's not as hot, though. He's not hot in the Dead by Daylight version of him. He's kind of the opposite, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I have DVD. Okay. Guys, if you ever want to know, like, V-type, is Trevor Belmont from, um, Castlevania, from the Castlevania anime, like, the first season? Boom. <laughs> right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I played Roblox because it had a Modern Warfare mod, and I did have a council to play COD on. That's so ingenious and sad. Yeah, Dead by Daylight made that ugly bill from Left 4 Dead. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Never played Roblox. I played Minecraft on Creative and just replaced all the sand with other sand because I don't know, as a poor kid in the country. <laughs> you replaced sand with sand? I played The Sims a lot. That's what I did. All right. Um, but we are at that time of night. I don't want to stay up too late because, guys, I am streaming tomorrow. We will be doing some art. I think what we're going to do is, um, I was going to do some fan art, but I think I'm just going to pull Commissar's commission from my iPad and work on that in the stream tomorrow so you guys will get office lady art tomorrow um and then yeah so we'll we'll work on that for a while and then if we get bored we'll, maybe we'll play some stardew valley or something like that and yeah so it'll be a little bit of a longer stream a little bit not not too much longer but a little bit office lady yeah so that'll start at 12 well no no, no wait wait what did i put on my thing <laughs> yeah 12 12 wait oh no hold on i think i messed up my times on my on my thing oh no i think i messed up my times on my schedule hold on <laughs> hold on a minute okay it starts at 1 p.m eastern not 12 p.m eastern i messed up i messed up on monday and thursday both they are, it's always 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, not 12 p.m. Eastern. So I will, I will make it, I'll, I'll make an announcement, um, tomorrow letting people know. But yeah, it is 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, not 12 p.m. Eastern. And then Thursday is 12 p.m. Eastern, not 11 a.m. Eastern. <laughs> oh my god. I use the old schedule. <laughs> but yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. But otherwise, you all have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye! <gasps>